All right, my friends, happy Saturday to you. Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Saturday, June 27th, 2020. <sighs> Honestly, it's a big day ahead of us. We've got a big day. This is like a day of making decisions. I know I say that, you know, we talk about the Bob Ross stuff and we're going to paint a happy little bush here or a happy tree, but this is true. We're going to make some serious decisions going on on this Saturday that's going to change the course of our lives, or potentially change the course of our lives. Why? Well, we have Jupiter-Pluto creating a conjunction again, okay? Mars last day here, in the sign of Pisces, in the sign of, I believe, in the sign of this wish fulfillment, action uh, moving towards dreams, action moving towards imagination, uh, actively playing within our imagination. Moon over there in Virgo, creating a trine to Pluto and to Jupiter conjunction, okay? Saying, can I do more with less, you know? If, you know, this is just like, if you've been following me for a minute, and some of you have been, you're so cool. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's such a pleasure. Uh, we talked about, you know, the crayon box. This was, I don't know, a couple months ago maybe? We are talking about the crayon box, right? The 8-pack of crayons versus the 16-pack of crayons or the 132-pack of crayons. Most certainly with the 132-pack of crayons. Or there's this guy I've actually seen recently on um, a really good artist. Uh, he bought, like, these $3,000 markers, you know, versus, like, these $300 markers and to see what you can do with it. There was no question the $3,000 markers were... You know, they were beautiful, and, and what he could create with it was amazing. However, there's, you know, and this other artist just shows a simple, again, eight-pack, black, red, and, you know, simple thing, and, and what can you create with this? So when we have this connection happening here, this trine happening here with Jupiter and Pluto, this is saying, can I, can I do more with less? Can I still achieve... Can I still create the dreams that I'm trying to create, right? we got Saturn just about to move back into Capricorn until December of this year. All right, so it'll stay there for the next several months either way. Still in Aquarius. Still creating this connection here with Neptune, and it's going to continue to happen throughout the year, right? As they're both retrograde together. Um they're moving this journey together again this is this you know your wish is my command what what do you want i can provide for you you know and and here's an interesting thing i'm going to talk about this connection right now and in relationship to our moon here in mars or our moon here in virgo oftentimes i'm a huge fan of um esther hicks or abraham hicks if you know who that is she teaches law of attraction Right, and it's amazing how many times individuals will come in there and get on this hot seat, you know, sit down and get to, to talk with Esther and or Abraham, whichever, as she's channeling. And they'll say, How do I produce I want more? I, I my my goal in life is to sit on a beach and drink fancy, you know, cocktails with little frilly toothpicks and, and cabana looking you know, you know what I'm talking about. Beach drinks. You know, that's my goal for life. I want to be so set that I, I can just sit on the beach endlessly and have someone bring me fancy looking little rum cocktails, you know. Now, that's not, that's not a sustainable lifestyle for anyone. For anyone. Right. So when I look at this and what's going on, and, and this is about abundance and abundance and changing our way of thinking about abundance and what do we truly need to get where we're going. And some of us say, oh, if I had a million dollars, I could do this, 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 this and this. If I had three trillion dollars, most certainly, you know, if, if, if we had money, sometimes we could do a lot of things with that money. But sometimes the universe caps us for reasons. And this is like some of this energy that's to understand this. You know, and I, and I love the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius ruled perceivably the world for about 19 years. Okay. Wrote a book to himself about daily meditation, exercise to himself. It wasn't for anyone else. <laughs> All right. This guy wrote a book to himself how to live a healthy lifestyle. Now we have this thing that says absolute power corrupts absolutely. Marcus Aurelius is the one exception, and I know this is an astrology post, but this, this is tying all of this stuff in. 
to understanding uh, on where we're going with our own abundance and what and when how the universe is providing for us. Now, Marcus Aurelius could have anything he wanted. You know, he ruled the world at this time. Okay, it was an empire. He ruled. He ruled Rome. Okay, so he could have wine at any point in time, opium at any point in time, women at any point in time, but he chose to kept a very level head. Now, for the rest of us, if you were to just give us a million dollars, two million dollars, what would we be doing with it? Would our lifestyle change? Would we still be, you know, uh, could we maintain it? Could we handle it? You know, fame isn't for everybody. A huge amount of money isn't for every single person. How can we handle that? Do we need it? You know, and, and what could go terribly wrong in our lives if we had resources to all of those things? You know, this is about our balance, balancing our lives, right? And it's understanding what we can and cannot manage and what we can and cannot balance. So sometimes the universe is only going to provide us what we need. So the, the individual sitting in that hot seat saying, oh, I want to just have an endless lifestyle of sitting on a beach. The universe isn't providing that for you. And it's not providing that for you for a reason. Because that means you're going to be a lazy drunk. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, it's like that. We need you to be active in the world. We need you to do things. We need you to take action. Moon and Virgo here. This is like saying you have to be of service service to mankind. This isn't about just sipping drinks and being served by humanity for the rest of your life uh, and spiraling down into nothingness. No, this is, a, you know, you're not going to get that on one hand because you have to provide something over here on the other, right? So this is part of our energy that's going on today is getting focused as course, love the moon in Virgo, opposing Neptune opposing Mars, okay, if we want to achieve these things which we dream of, we have to do the work. So the work isn't sitting there again on the beach being delivered rum runners, you know. So if we have less right now, can we still achieve? All right, now as the day progresses, we're going to be moving into Libra by 5 p.m., okay, a little earlier than 5 p.m., about 4.30. Um, this is beautiful, okay, because this journey has been very solo, been very much about us, been very much about what's going on in our lives, our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our ego expression, our service. And now we're getting here into the others, the other side, where we've been focused so much on me, my I, my emotions and my things that we've been neglecting our neighbor. In a sense. And you see here we have a very serious uh, grand cross going on. Let me back it up just an hour. There you go. 28 degrees, 28 degrees, 29 degrees, 29 degrees. Okay, this is a grand cross in mutable signs. Okay, so mutable energy. This is all needs balance, collective knowledge, my independent knowledge. The work that I do for others, being focused, being uh, uh, that feather in the wind, that dream, you know, where do these all come into an alignment, right? This is something that we have to decide today. What are we choosing to let go of, to move forward in a direction of the unknown, and uh, figuring things out for myself, as well as being focused on my journey. And while I'm on this journey, we cannot forget about the other because every single person that I come across, I have an effect on, right? There's a, you know, there's an influence regardless in how, how, I, how I hold myself, how I carry myself, the conversations that we have, how you left feeling when our communication ended, right? People won't, won't remember everything about you, but they remember how you made them feel, Okay, and now we're going to have the moon here starting in uh, starting to as the night progresses uh, to create a square here to the sun and to Mercury. But that's that's going to come more on Sunday. But we're going to start to feel it nonetheless. So we have this big grand cross, which is saying tension and pressure. Things need to change. Okay, this is for mutable signs. The mutable signs are the creators of change. 
or 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 the ending the change because it's being taken over the cardinal sign is the creator technically uh, but this is where the energy weakens it's like if you pluck a note on the on a guitar or something and this is where the note fades out and the next note kind of fades in you know so it's like where one journey is ending another one is going to begin this couldn't be more true for where we're at in life right now okay summer has just come we've had this you know this really epic eclipse eclipse of the heart of emotions okay we're gonna have mars moving out of pisces into aries its home sign of aries for the rest of the year so we have this six months of mars and aries we have this six months you know ecliptic energy coming up until the solstice in december and we have jupiter saturn conjunction at zero degrees of Sagittarius, or, uh, uh, aquarius you know so it's like we're under great change right now our lives are changing dramatically we do we need to be dramatic while changing no we need to be focused while changing we need to be driven we need to be open 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 to receive and that's mars last you know energy here on saturday at, at 11 p.m it moves into the sign of aries okay so again this is our last days of just just hold it in your head hold it in your hand you know what do we want to focus on what do we want to create in our lives and that's the moon's job saying okay this is it mars you're over there saying action within the abyss action in the dreams action in the imagination i'm over here saying let's write it down let's make it real i'm going to create my trine up here to jupiter and pluto which is saying abundance more and transforming you know and what do i need do i need more can i work with less uh you know what do i need to get me through this and what, you know, what incremental steps were going to come later on. And then it's just like, well, who do I need to go with me now? You know, on my journey is, is the moon's moving into Libra. You know, it's just like, okay. And then reflecting as well, who have I been? How have I been in the past? H have I been so focused on my own emotions and my own thing that I've neglected somebody else, how they felt? Have I been so focused on my career or, or, or my money, my finances during this Venus retrograde that, that I haven't paid attention to how somebody else is feeling? You know, we have this Mercury retrograde right now in the sign of Cancer, the sun's in Cancer. So there's a lot of energy communicating or, or a lot of energy focusing on communication, on the things, the nature of the heart. You know, this is below the surface stuff, right? So sometimes, you know, our happiest friends are the friends that are the most depressed sometimes you know the friends that reach out to us are the people that are struggling the most and we're like oh it's good to talk to you great to see you yeah have a good one and i'm moving on with my thing and, and neglecting the fact that maybe somebody else is hurting right now maybe somebody else is struggling or maybe i just don't know somebody else's story and the only way for me to find out is by opening up the lines of communication and allowing this change to come in my life this energy with this grand square and the mutable and the mutable signs is saying if we do not allow a change to come in if we think our logic okay and that's why we're getting out of uh, you know we're moving you know the sun moved from logical air sign gemini to emotions and feels and cancer if my logic is so strong that that you know there's no way that anybody else is you know going to uh, uh, penetrate this concept or the, or this thinking that I know that my thinking is the only way. Again, this is the South Node in, in philosophical sign of Sagittarius. Like there's there's not just one way, you know. And just because you feel this way about it doesn't mean that that's how it is for the the big picture. All right. So we have to be open to change have to be open and willing to change our narrative, to change our perspective, um, to allow communication to come in um, that allows and offers that change. All right, so we grow together. Whew. It's a big day. It's a big day. I mean, look at this. I mean, you know, I'm going to wrap it up here, but is, when the moon starts to enter Libra, right, squaring the nodes right off the gate, so this is balance. How do I balance myself when I'm I'm figuring out what is right and wrong? I'm figuring out, you know, what to let go of, what to move forward of. You know, the Mars and the moon kind of move together here, which is really interesting. Right? So now they're creating an opposition. 
Well, Mars says, I want to move forward in my direction. This is all about me and my life. And the moon's saying, yeah, but you need every single person along that path um, to support you or even every single person that was against you on this journey. Uh, you, you know, you need these people uh, and, and your path is nothing without the others and coming from the moon in Virgo this place of service is about giving back giving back giving back and understanding the balance and we need this balance so much right now as we're starting again squaring the nodes opposing Mars opposing Chiron how do we heal self we heal self by opening up the doors to other people right and then we're gonna have this trine here to Venus okay it's saying like by loving by simply loving, by desiring, by by loving every aspect of, of you know situations or people or things, you know we we find this balance in ourselves, and of course this connection there. There's just so much going on, sorry guys, uh, between Uranus and and Taurus. This creative connection here to to the Moon and Libra as well, you know. So as there's a lot of squares which are are saying balance and opposition, we do have these trines. And we do have this quincunx, which is a create uh, quincunx, a, a quintile, this creative energy saying like, look, there's there's breakthrough in communication. There's breakthrough in our relationships with others. There's breakthrough in the future that's coming up. We just have to be willing to go with change. We have to be willing to accept, you know, maybe it's not my point in time in life to be a millionaire or whatever it is that the universe is going to provide to me whatever I need when it's right, when the student is ready, the teacher appears, you know, when this, when the teacher is ready, the students appear, the same goes the other way, right? So it's all about that balance, pacing it out. <laughs> so happy Saturday, my friends. All right. Thank you as always. And we'll see you tomorrow.